Hello, everybody. So this is the session for MapReduce. So this would be the introductory session towards the further sessions of MapReduce. Talking about what it is. MapReduce basic origin was from Google. It is a simple programming paradigm used for processing and generating large sets of data. So when we talk about MapReduce, it is a framework for processing parallelizable problems across huge data sets using a large number of computers collectively referred to as cluster or a grid. Now, MapReduce, you know, is, a, is the heart of Hadoop. It is the programming paradigm that allows massively or you can say allows for massive scalability across hundreds or thousands of servers in a Hadoop cluster. Now, the term MapReduce actually refers to two separate and distinct tasks that Hadoop program performs. The first is the map job and the second is the reduce job. Now, when we talk about MapReduce, MapReduce can take the advantage of data, locality of data, processing it on or near the storage assets in order to reduce the distance over which it can be transmitted. So we have the map step first each worker node applies the map function to the local data and writes the output to a temporary storage a master node orchestrates that they that for redundant copies of input data only once is processed then we have the shuffle step worker nodes redistribute the data based on output keys such that all the data belonging to one key is located on the same worker or data node. Then the reduce step. So the worker nodes or the data nodes now process each group of output data per key in parallel. So another way to look at MapReduce is a five step parallel and distributed computation. So first is prepare the map output, sorry, prepare the map input. The map reduce system designates the map processor assigns the input key value k1 that each processor would work on and provides that processor with all the input data associated with that key. Then we have the, uh, the run, sorry, run the user provided map code. So map is, uh, you know, map function is run exactly once for each k1 key value, generating output organized by key value k2. Then the third step is shuffle the map output to the reduce processors. So the map reduce system designates reduce processors, assigns the K2 key value each processor should work on and provides that processor with all the map generated data associated with that particular key. Run the user provided reduce code, that is the fourth step. So reduce is reduce function is run exactly once for each K2 value produced by the map step. Then fifth is produce the final output. So the map reduce system collects all the reduced output and sorts it by K2 to produce the final outcome.